winner of this has to go up against the OD Red later today, so it's quite a, a mountain to have to climb. And first, you have to get through either Godson and MIBR, which are both very competitive teams, and I think either really could take this one away. Yeah, th th this is like so unpredictable. I mean, we had a little bit of a split desk as well. Uh, Hedger being really, really excited, obviously, for Godsend. And I think, yeah, perhaps this veto could favor Godsend, but we know the Brazilians. We know the fire that they have inside of them to try and take the victory. And up first is going to be Dust 2 in this best of three with Godsend starting on that CT side. And once again, <laughs> look at that. Pollux going in with the dualies while here on long, we have the first initial fight going on. A little bit of a um, mini has been spotted there for a second. And there's going to be a nice train going out of the long doors for MIBR. And if they have, they do have some utility, but they're just going to go in dry. And so far, it seems good because Mini is the first one to take the hit for Godsend. Now just four people left. She was the only one there headed towards the A side. If they decided to continue to commit there, that could have been an opening. Although Hera is actually going to find another kill as well. That's his dualies removed before they can get anything done. And now Godsend are a little bit split. Three players, they still have to cover both these bomb scents. And uh, it might be all, they're not over committing here, although they are going to start making their way towards A. Uh, I like this though, because they are just using the utility that they have, making sure that this is uh, hopefully a clean round and you can see it's, it's getting real tough for DCTs to retake. Astra has to relocate, go together with the teammates that are on short. But there are two flashbangs still in hand, so if they use them right, if the timings work in their favor, they could make use of it now. The smokes are fading. The ideas for Aurora are certainly there, but still five players left to take out. The flashbang does hit, and that's now the first kill going in the way of Godsend. But still, Josie wraps up two, make it three, and MIBR take home the pistol round. Great stuff there from Josie. Also set up by those flashbangs. There was two different flash assists that came through there. So that was just a perfect defensive setup from MIBR. They had the players out towards long. It was a bit of a, a difficult retake. I, I don't know if there was really a world where Godsend could have worked into that one. There was no kit in play. And just with the spread of players, it was incredibly difficult and would have required some heroic shots. But it was Josie here who did it all with the support of those flashbangs. Yeah, but Godsend, though, they're not going to stop for this round. Nice force by coming in. It's a bit of a risk, you know, up on, uh, on that CT side. Not very ideal, but there is a little bit of damage already being done. Oh, look at that. Aurora Whoa. just threw the smoke another headshot to top it off with. And that is actually a very decent start for Godsend, considering, you know, they just have some pistols and Aurora are doing so much already with just that single scout. That is absolutely disgusting. The first shot was one thing, but then just through the smoke, their head shot. It's not even a body shot. That's the scout making it work. And now it's the four on three retake. Still no kit in place. They do have to go for these shots here. And Akina holding close to the SMG is in a good angle for it, but Astra with a headshot of her own. The kill's coming back and forth. And oh, it's Little Z with just... A slither of HP clutching it out for MIBR. Oh, but that's so costly. You know, they do manage to hang on that uh, to that AK, but um, the, most of their weapons are now gone down the drain. But the problem is, though, it's not that God sent uh, make this very hard with just, you know, the, the bare pistols. They did upgrade, they did invest into this round, so that's going to mean a full Baron Eco for this one, so they can then buy the next, which gives MIBR now a lot of room to try and gather some rounds together. There is a double flashbang in the hands of Astra, but it looks like they're going to stack towards A, but now that they've cleared up B, yeah, the call's going to come over. Come on. I'm still reeling from that, those shots from Aurora. I, I could hear the green room <laughs> next door. I could hear the, the reaction shouting. to that. Yeah. that was, uh, what, a, what a great way to start this one off. These will just be some cleanup kills here. Just can pat her sacks here all the way back with the Galil. Maybe I'm keen to get a bit of extra cash here with that SMG. Although maybe not. Just one kill with the SMG. But still, free money. No one goes down. And it might be after a good start here. I think this is maybe what we expected. Dust to a map that uh, MIBR are quite confident on. It's probably one of the most popular maps that we see across the South American scene. We saw it a lot during the first season of Impact, which MIBR uh, were in the same group as Furia for that one. And they almost made it to Dallas. Um, they actually yeah. got a, It's an interesting story how they ended up here because they were eliminated in the playoffs by Black Dragons, who then obviously went on and had a quite a good run at Dallas. And then uh, the tables turned when MIBR eliminated 
Black Dragons to get here, but a bit of contest out towards long early on. Kills going back and forth here, damage being done. Ash with the AWP, she can sit back a car and evens it back out to the three on three. That's a hefty grenade, but at least it's onto the AWPA. Still a three on three, definitely possible now. Kiza though finds Pollux in the mix of it. Astra being low. This might get a bit tricky. You know, are you going to stay on a side each? For better looks of it, they're very keen to try and group up. And at least the ideas are there because indeed MIBR seems to be heading towards that B tunnel. We're holding it. Astra just checking mid. Well, they had the info off that aggressive peak towards top mid, which gave them the hint that the rotation was coming through, but they're backed out of the site now, so that smoke can come through to doors and block it off. It's not allowed them to get through, although the smoke does him a little bit late, and Aurora can do a little bit of damage. That HE could actually do a bit here, and it does. Oh, actually, no, that's through the smoke. Aurora, she does not need to see them to take them down. Another headshot through the smoke. But the bomb guards get planted, and they're just charging through. Astra, she gets removed early on, and Aurora trying to do some heroics, but Jossie sitting back site is able to remove her. Yeah, then after plan, you know, 3v2, it's it's really tough one, um, considering that Astro was also low health, it only took uh, two bullets to deal with her. And yeah, this opening was was very solid of MIBR, already having a lot of ground and, and then suddenly, you know, for Godsend, you're left to try and regroup, a lot of time being lost, maybe some information um, also not really being there. And with that, MIBR already 4 to zero here and got sent back onto the pistols. Oh, but look at this. Very key to try uh, try and make something work for this round. Just try and rush through the B tunnel. It's not going to happen though. Mini last player now alive against three weapons. Still don't they did make it a little bit costly, two players down. It felt like maybe they had the read on it. You can see he's sitting all the way back in uh, T-Swarm with that AK, just looking for those long-range engagements. She's uh, just sitting back there, waiting for them to, to funnel out into the crosshairs. So at least Minnie is able to recover an AK, and she has armor behind it, as well as the smoke. So she might give this one a look, and they have the full invest into the next round already. So she can find some kills here, and potentially a chance to steal it away, but no, it's going to be shut down before it can even begin. Yeah, I remember you're such a solid start already. And now, get it, the economy is back on the board for Godsend. But what are you going to be doing now? You know, you have the art back onto Astra. But so far, the force of MWR is definitely to be reckoned with. And it's interesting, MWR is going to be calling the timeout here, knowing that Godsend has that economy back on the board. And they want to make sure they shut them down again. Okay, they want to keep this flawless start going knowing that Nuke is on the horizon, which as the desk were, were sort of alluding to, that's a bit of a scary one for MIBR. It's a map that God sent feel really comfortable playing, and so it's, it's maybe a must win here on mm. Dust2 for MIBR. I think Overpass is maybe a bit of a coin flip, although again, I think we saw Godsent play Overpass quite successfully mm. during the regular season. So yeah. MIBR, it's critical they get off to a good start here. And that was the thing with both of these teams in their opening matches. They actually had very good halves. But then in the second half, they, they let a lot of things, uh, just a lot of mistakes there that, that happened. And then the other team was able to uh, capitalize on that. Now in this round, though, a lot of flashes being used. So that means MBR has this ground now over towards short. A bit of control and lower tunnels as well. And with that, Emma Godsend is left to just hold the side. Honestly, they do have a player sneaked up on mid, which can be really good. Anna, though, she's going to maybe go on Xbox, going to go the long way around. And that is now the head of Josie found. The first kill in the opening here in this round for Godsend. And oh, they're looking for more, but Kita is ready to try and trade it out. And at the same time, MRBR is going to set pressure onto that B bomb side, taking Aurora out, leaving just the other three to um, rotate over towards the B side. Once again, it's his great flashbang setting uh, MIBR up for success there. Aurora, she does a lot of damage onto one of the players entering through onto Akina, but then as she goes to drop the smoke and reposition, the flashbangs from Little Z come through and they're just so perfect. Lines her completely and she's caught off guard. And that's the side open. That's the thing about the B side. You know, if you can find that opening kill when there's a solo defender, it's so difficult to retake that you pretty much have to concede it, especially when mm. it's the player disadvantage like it is here. Yeah. Yeah, this is rough, you know, the, the buy round's not working out and you think, okay, we're going we're gonna to eco and try again. But even if those retries are not quite working in your favor, 
suddenly, you know, mentally as well, it's going to get quite tough. Ashra missing two crucial shots there. Doesn't manage to stay alive. Pollux, though, is here. Swings and grabs two, so at least that's good. Now with the open hand. Oh, that's another one. All right, Pollux. So at least she can, uh, or she's good to deal with that pressure. But still, it's a round loss again for Godsend. They do have that orb, but um, yeah, the question is how much can you do with just that open hand? Because I think the money might still look a little bit rough, perhaps some lacking uh, utility as well. So we need Astra to get on that game plan for Godsend. Yeah, and Astro was really the only one that was kind of uh, at the top of the leaderboard putting in the, the effort, well, not mm. the effort, the uh, the kills for Godsend on the CT side against CLG Red. Obviously, that was a really tough matchup, uh, probably maybe the most difficult, potentially. Um, and, you know, they, they really struggled on the CT side. It was their T side that was quite strong. Pollux and Mini both looked incredibly solid there. So that is consolation. The T side is coming up, but they do want to at least get a reasonable start here on CT, particularly against a team like MIBR. And we're actually seeing the Kree come out for Jossie. I, I like to see it. Ooh, it's, it's been a long time <laughs> since I've seen that weapon in a game. But hey, if it's CT, go for it. So far, you know, the, the kills are definitely not lying for Josie. Now she's eager to add another few on top of it. She's going to be tapping away, at least dealing a bit of damage onto Aurora. Perhaps a teammate can then finish her up. And oh, he has so much intel, seeing all those players cross down on mid. And now all the information is there for MRBR to sit in after playing. Though Pollock's coming in from Tunnel, but it's being held. Two kills, three kills for Hera, and two to follow it up with for her, team, her teammate. MRBR is just looking so solid. All five players managed to stay alive. Yeah, look how hyped they are in the audience. They, they're getting excited. They're, they know how this feels. They're off to a great start here. Hera with that fantastic triple kill there on the side hold. Didn't even allow them a look in here. And again, look at the flash assist. Filling the feed. Fantastic stuff. Jossie this time uh, stepping up with those. So it's uh, really, oh, the opening kill there with the AWP. It is just against the upgraded pistols, but Good aim already for the AWP for MIBR. She hasn't really had to step up yet. 3-0 uh, to zero at the moment for her. It's really been the story of the riflers that are doing all the work here at the moment. And the guys just back to the pistols. It's like the same story going over and, in, uh, and over. But MIBR just steamrolling this game. Feels like they can do no wrong at the moment. This round should be a fairly easy one for them. We have seen some pretty serious heroics from the Deagles. In fact, from Godsend against CLG Red, they had the Deagles on that CT side in Mirage, and they were able to win uh, against the full buy. So I, I don't count them out here. Mini has to hit a pretty incredible shot, though, because the rest of the team is over towards the B site. And with those smokes coming through, that's a bit of a warning sign. He's able to block that one. So this gives her something to work with here. She can maybe play around this, try and be a little bit disruptive. With that AWP now dropping in, the firebombs are raining through to Car. She's only swinging out, the rotations are coming through, but with her going down, this gets very tricky for Godsend. Oh, you can see the reaction of Mini as well, looking so disappointed. She couldn't do a lot more. But now the T side is ready. The right smokes are going to be landing this time because they have plenty left. Now, Pollux has a lot of information, but the shots need to be hitting. Anna does grab one, but that is all that's going to be. Four people again alive, and MIBL's money is going to be through the roof. Yeah, I mean, we expected uh, good signs here from uh, MIBR and Dust2. We knew this is one of their favorite maps. We've seen them play it again and again and again, even against teams like Fury they put in really good performances. So, uh, you know, coming up against Godsent, they definitely are the favorite on this map. And I maybe didn't expect such a dominant start here, 8-0. Mm. That's not going to feel good for Godsent. They really need to sort of find a way back into this one. And, and it might be that AWP from Astra that is the answer. Yeah. They do need to be finding some openings here because uh, it's starting to slip away. It definitely is. You know, now all the momentum is favoring MRBR and it doesn't really matter. You know, they're able to grab a lot of control. Often the utility is really on point. You know, you were saying earlier that the flashbangs of Josie to support. Um, and it doesn't really matter if it is trying to entry a side or trying to hold onto a side and after plant. Like both scenarios look so solid now for MRBR. This time around, going to be trying this full on, pretty much long stack. Mini though, in pit, there's not really a flashbang to deal with her this time around. And now she can try and capitalize on it. There's a Molotov Joe that forces her out, so at least there's a trade. But still, a two for one. And suddenly, all oh, things get tricky. Josie finds Anna there in lower tunnel. 
But Astra is still quick on the trigger, making it a free on two. That's a critical trade there. If Astra doesn't get that, that gets very, very dicey for them at least. Now they've got the player advantage early on. The little two here with the AWP, she can still be a force to be reckoned with. No one over towards the A site. They're both in towards mid here, so there is an opportunity if they make their way up through short to find an open bomb site here. And with the AWP and the utility they have, they could potentially set up for a decent post plant here. So they're not aware that it's completely open at the moment, but with the clock ticking down, they do have to go for this. They're going to find this site completely open, and that bomb can go down. It's smart that at least got and try to stack up together. Because in this case, you have the player advantage, and this is one of the rare opportunities now that Gotten have to try and take a round. So they did plan the bomb for long, so Little Z can then move on over and sit down deep in the pit position. With Kiza now in the ramp holding, not quite sure where all the players are going to be coming from, but now Little Z, all the pressure is on her. That's two kills for her now already. But the third one, oh. even through the smoke, I can't believe it. She just guesses and hits the shot, and right as we need her to step up, she does exactly so. And that's the danger of those, those post time positions. They all came through short. There was no one coming through long on that flank, so she can just sit back here and just hold the line, just holding this turret position. She knows exactly where the bomb is planted for, so even though the smoke is down, all she has to do is hold that trigger, get the right timing, and the kill's there. Second player's not even needed. It's all the AWP. <laughs> Godson had a player advantage there as well. They threw the smoke, just hoping it could deal with the ARPA over towards long. Not going to happen. Lil Z is just saying no, not today. Emma Biyar is uh, very keen to, to get on to double digits. Well, they just peaked before the smoke had even bloomed, right? Two players <laughs> went down before, before that was even yeah. up. So, you know, that's a bit of a critical mistake mm. there for Godsent. Um, you know, they, they need to be... Given the disadvantage now, nine rounds in a row, they really need to be putting everything into each of these. You can't afford these little little mistakes, these little timing errors with the utility, because that can cost you a round, just like we've seen. Yeah, it's it's these little things that MRBR is able to capitalize on. Oh, and again, little Z, you're so fast on that all. It's so incredible to watch that now MRBR has come alive and they've got sense. They need to definitely pull out something different. And this is the thing, you know, if your defense is going to be this, this weak, uh, you need to then get onto T side, and that's going to take a lot of effort too. Pollux, okay, she has been quick on the trigger, I have to admit. And there's at least two kills now in favor of Wilson, but, you know, all the site has already been lost, and still a lot of utility left for MBR to deal with the, the potential retake as well. Yeah, this round's right up, as you can see with this kill going down, it's just mini left now. She might be able to recover a rifle or maybe get some exits here, but it's going to be 10 now, double digits for MIBR. And even if they get the remaining five rounds for Godsent, that T side is already an intimidating scoreline to be going up against. If she can get any closes here, that's fun to Little Z. Has been brought down low though, so yeah, Hera. Too easy for her, holding the line there. We get up to double digits. Oh, man. And I mean, I know this was just the pistols, but I've seen it quite a couple of times where Gotsen lacked the mid control. So it's often that MRBR just leave a player to deal with like long doors and then rotate, you know, over towards the B site um, through mid. And there's no one there. And she can grab so much intel knowing, okay, you know, I've seen one, two, three players rotate through CT and then she will follow up right through tunnel to catch up the last players there as well. So it's so solid, um, and, and these are the little things that can cost you. Some signs of brilliance there. They have looks at that double kill, at least showing a bit of a sign of life here, but it's going to be creeping out onto the B side here. Four players with the bomb, just slowly making their way through Aurora. She's just going to peek directly into the crosshair a little. See, it's all on Pullux. We saw a double kill from her last time. Have to do it again, but it's only good for the one. Now the utility can go down, the bomb can be planted. Arkina even in mid finds a kill of her own, putting the player advantage now back for MIBR. Hera was brought low earlier, but it's the AWP on the retake, and it's into the B site. Luckily this time around they have quite a lot of utility. There's kits on board, but still 
Unaware, of course, where everyone is positioned. Hera tries to play close, and oh, she goes for the hero play. Even in the Molotov, and Kiza is like, no, I'm gonna eat you up. MIVR, 11 rounds in a row, and you can see them being so, so excited. Well, that adrenaline, just the full spray down into the dead body. You love to see it. It's not, it's not BM, it's just hype on the stage here, feeling the adrenaline, just winning all these rounds in a row, feeling alive, feeling like you're on top of the world. <laughs> this is so good, and MLBR is uh, is definitely feeling this game and gotten. Yeah, at, th at this point, it's it's a really rough one to be in. It's you know how can you try and get back into this game? Uh, Asha is only on six skills, and it's the most for any player on the Godsend squad. We have like almost half their rounds have been just with the pistols. You know they couldn't build really any economy and it's a real tough spot to be in but this defense is set up inside of tunnels we can see MIBR they're not taking any chances here they're careful aware that this push could come through Hera waiting jiggling for it and oh, the a little bit awkward but the kill is found Aurora she takes out with the pistols they oh. get three kills that is absolutely filthy and that's a player advantage for now for godsend the bomb site is open, the rotations have to come through. That smoke can be dropped. Asher has made her way over with the Desert Eagle, would have to hit some bangers, not quite able to do it. She's also brought low. The rotations have come through, but they have made it onto the bomb site. I'm gonna try and regroup through the tunnel, which actually is kind of smart. Godson have often come in uh, and try and come in through CT. So now a bit of a change of plan, but of course, we, we still have two players. It's Little Z holding the tunnel with an AK. There's not a flashbang to deal with. Okay, we do have a kill from Mini coming in in return. And now a lot of pressure onto Little Z. She needs to find both. She's going to try and delay time using the box. But this time around, Godsend have finally snatched their first one. And what a way to do it. It's Aurora with the pistol just tucked into the side just with this, this tight little angle. They're not quite ready for this double setup. She's able to capitalize on it. You know, you just been mentioning half their rounds and played with the pistols. And that's exactly what does it in the end. It's not the rifles. They're able to pull it off. We get to see it again here. The monkey business and it's working for Aurora. That double kill at the end is absolutely filthy. Two headshots in quick succession and then all three players. If you're stuck at the back of the site there, it's so difficult. You know, you have to be taking these fights because they're just going to slowly pincer you there and that's exactly what happens. So yes, finally we have that all back into the hands of Astra. Already Aurora taking quite a hit through uh, middle ground. And I like this though, a bit of a change of plan. Anna tries to um, change things up, especially with MRBR playing quite often towards that long door, but it's not quite working out on now the first player to fold. Ohira did take a, a bit of a hit, but she's still alive and kicking. Early tag onto Aurora, going to be swinging out from long now. Mini not quite able to get it done. The Zing comes through, but the M4 not able to get the job done. Astra has to fall back, and now it's a two-player advantage. Two of them are low, some consolation, but aim that these MIBR girls have that may not end up being a factor. Astra gets boosted up onto the site so that she can play a bit more of a defensive angle here, but little Z is down in pit with an awful throw. Yeah, well, you've seen before how deadly, how deadly she can be in that position. Really this time, of course, they still need to enter the site, but they have two players advantage. The only thing that could perhaps work in Godson's favor is the time. Time slowed, ticking away. Now the smokes will most likely reveal where they're going to be heading. And oh, Astra's still here in the side, and that's two kills for her. There's one in return, but MABR hold on to that advantage. Oh, look at that, just cleaning both of them up. And right after Godsend's first round win, MABR take it right back. Yeah, that got a little scary there when uh, Astra gets those two openers, but you can see the reaction. There was a mid flank coming in from MIBR, which catches off the rotating player, and then that forces Pulux to make the play and push through mm. the smoke where she's just being held for. So uh, it gets a little dicey, but MIBR with just the numbers uh, able to come through ahead. Still though, got sent off the back of all of that Lost bonus. Have a full investment into this one. Asher with the AWP again. Starting to wake up here. Aurora getting early contact in towards B. Incendiary has been dropped. She has a smoke as well. The utility's going to start to come through and she has to do everything here. That's two Ooh. kills early on. Topping Asher comes over with the orb as well and drops the bomb. Oh, that was so good. Just as Aurora ran out of bullets, Asher came to help her teammate out. I don't know. 
makes a... Oh, that's actually a very cheeky kill. Headshot through the door. But yeah, now just after that last player standing. Does have the open hand. And there's actually plenty of money. So in this case, ideally, you would try and deal as much damage economically as you can. It's not going to happen. Still two players lost for Godsend. But at least it's another one on the board. Yeah, I still feel like even if they get this last round of the half, 3-12 really isn't the scoreline you want to be working with, even if your T-side is fantastic. And once again, it's Aurora. She's the one that gets the round uh, done with those two openers. I mean, MIBR maybe getting a little overconfident committing through that smoke. That's, mm. uh, you can see maybe they weren't, they were, they were setting up for this play, the smoke gets dropped, and like, well, let's just commit to it. And unfortunately, Aurora on the other side is able to deal with it quite quickly. I mean, she played it quite smartly. She played it so up close that the flashbangs didn't blind her. The only problem eventually was that she ran out of bullets. But then you have, of course, enough time for your teammate to back you up. So this round, not a good start already. Mini first one to fall. And Anna certainly has an idea as to where Akina is. Right behind that smoke, we'll drop another one. Oh, but actually, yeah, oh, Anna Molotov leave her feet. She needs to hit the shots, not gonna happen. I'll at least make things competitive again in this round four on four. You can see they've already taken upper B control for God's sense. They know this is going to be the A hit. They can start to rotate players over. And for the MIBR, this is the go signal. Astra with the AWP. She's the only one defending side at the moment. Has to hit these shots. Misses the first. It looked like it was on target, but couldn't quite land it. That's going to allow that bomb to make its way through short and to go down. So it's going to have to be the retake into the last round of the half. Oh, and a close round it is. Pollux. Grabs here and there down on short. But the bomb, of course, still was planted. Oh, little Z swings and hits down two kills. Pollux, though, still makes things very, very contending. But leave it up to little Z. She is fighting and trying to hold on for MIBR. Right, trying to grab them another round. Oh, the Molotov did it! Both kills here! The Bruna Molotov for little Z. That's unreasonable. Burns are both alive. Doesn't need to see either player to get it done. MIBR looking incredibly dominant here in the first half of their map pick. We're going to throw it to a break and then we'll be back to see if Godsend can claw it back.
Welcome back here to Ezo Impact Valencia. It is currently 13-2. This uh, first opening game here, MBR against Godsend. It is uh, the Group B elimination best of three. So there is a lot on the line, and so far it's not looking too good for Godsend. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that MIBR are looking pretty good here on their map pick of Dust 2. An incredibly dominant first half on that T side. Now going into the CT, they will have all the momentum with them. Godsent would have to pull off a pretty incredible comeback. Probably the most incredible comeback we have yet to see at Impact if they want to put up any sort of fight here on Dust 2. <laughs> Josie Doe. <laughs> oh, I love the confidence with the dual leash. You've got to sit up close there as well. And, oh, it's going to be perhaps play a little bit of a cheeky corner now. A few shots coming through here from Little C, but not able to connect anything with the USP so far. A little bit of info at the very least. Favoured pistol in this engagement. Flash going to force off the angle so they can get up into short. Only a small bit of damage done now. All of Godsend making their way to the A bomb site. There's three CTs on B, so there is the opening here. Hera towards Long. It's critical that she stays alive. So her teammate is coming over to support. They have to find this flank, and that's exactly what they do. Mini is removed. And now with the double setup towards CT, they're in a pretty good position for the retake. The 5v4, the bomb goes down. Still all five players left alive for MRBR, so that gives a lot of room. And there is a smoke and a flashbang also to work with. So if they use that wisely, if they can figure out where Godsend is situated, now the flashbang will come out and Aurora tries to peek into it. But now it suddenly has revealed some positioning. The smoke will go right on the bomb. And honestly, there's a kid in play. This could get really dicey. Two kills now also in favor of MRBR. And there we have the defuse coming in. Also, all the players for Godsend swipe right off. And MRB are creeping closer and closer to winning this first map. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> what can you even break down there for, for Godsend? It was unfortunate. They got the bomb down. Mini going down towards Long is pretty much the nail in the coffin because that's the flank yeah. that's removed. There's a double setup from CT. The pincer comes through. And then literally all five CTs swarm the site. There's nothing they can do in that post plant. The smoke under the bomb is just salt in the wound. And with the kit, they're able to defuse it before pull-ups can even give it a look in, even though she finds two nice headshots. So off the back of that, given we are up against map point, if we do lose, or if Godsend loses one, they have fully invested into it. They do get the bomb plant down. So they've got three rifles in play. Potentially an opportunity here, because they do have MP9s on the other side. Yeah, that was the only good thing after having a bomb plant, that now they have a bit of money. And, and we, we, we saw a little bit what those uh, scouts did for Godsend. Though, sadly, that round eight, by just an inch, they lost. But who knows what they can deliver now on that team side. Flashbang, that's actually a very good flash. Hera completely blind. So that is the opening. And they can hold on to all their weapons and their players. So there's a good start for Godsend. But they're not out of the woods just yet. We talk about the uh, utility from MIBR, so it's good to see Godsend doing a little bit of their own. Aurora, these two players are pushing into her. She's holding the line. Great first kill. Oh, caught off guard. Oh. Jossie gets all three. That is unreasonable. We're going to be charging forward with the AK, but Mini shuts her down. And we're into the two on two now. Godsend look like they're in a good position, but it gets completely demolished. And now Little Z with the MP9 finds Anna. It's just Mini now in a one versus two. Has the AK and has utility and time to work with. No player towards top mid has to find this one because with 20 seconds she does have to start making her way towards a bomb site. And it's going to be A that she goes towards. Know that a player was on B, so she has an opportunity here. Drops the utility. She can get this bomb plant down, but the post plant is going to be a tricky one. Definitely, she needs to play a very close angle. The players are already there. The heat is going to come, and that's the first kill at least in the back. She needs to reload, running out of bullets, and Kiza takes that opportunity to grab the last shot. And with that, MRBR is on the map point. Those kills from Josie were just uh, absolutely Nuts. insane. She's been <laughs> such a great addition to this MIBR roster. We're going to get to see it again here. The MP9, oh, the second latest caught of guard, but Astra, that is unreasonable finding the third kill there. The MP9 spray down is filthy, but uh, she's been a great addition coming across from Liberty yeah. Bay and mm -hmm. uh, feels like she's slotted perfectly into this roster. She's been one of the top performers. Uh, against MIBR, she was their, their best rated player and 
here against uh, Godsend looking just as good. Yeah, but I feel like everyone on MBR currently is doing their bit. Okay, we have maybe Akina at 21 kills, but the rest, you know, it's like 14, 15, uh, 12, 17. It's like all very, very close. Everyone going positive as well. So it's a very, very solid game from MBR. Whereas Godsend, obviously, they, they seem to be struggling. The, the weaponry and the money. Again, also in this second half, not quite being there. They're going to try and pull on because this is their last shot. Trying to prevent MRBR from taking this first map. Yeah, throwing some bullets through smoke, but not able to connect anything there. All the A1Ss for this squad. We saw uh, the A4 being used a little bit by some teams, but MRBR happy to keep it classic here. All of God sent grouping up for sure. They have had success getting the bomb plant down from short so far, but it's been these retakes that MIBR have been incredibly solid on. We've got the line here being held with the AK, but not able to connect the shot. Little Z throws out a grenade. That's going to be pretty hefty. <laughs> Actually finds the kill with a bit of damage done as well. Hera gets the lurker out towards long. That's a critical kill. And the bomb, it's been dropped towards CT. They have to go pushing for it. The smokes get dropped. Aurora is able to recover, but everyone's dying across the map. Oh no, they're all falling apart. Aurora, she's removed, and MIBR, they take dust too. Oh man, and in what a way they did it all. You can see the little hearts going into the crowd. It's so adorable. But yeah, MIBR is definitely having a, a good time currently on the stage, feeling themselves and slaughtering Olsen. Yeah, I mean, we said that uh, this would be the map that uh, MIBR would need to come out on strong, and that's exactly what they did, looking incredibly dominant. Obviously, Nuke coming up next from Godsend, that's a map that they feel quite comfortable on.